Hey everybody, this is Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com. In this podcast or video, depending how you're hearing or seeing this, we're going to look at the top five ways to get new clients. I'm assuming that you're an aspiring web designer or web programmer and you're just starting things out. So in this particular chapter podcast, we're going to look at these five different ways. So start with number five. You can try a jobs board. Now, there are sites out there that you can uh, go to and prospective employers or people that are looking to hire a web professional for a contract, they'll post their jobs and you can bid on these things. Just do a search on Google for you know web design jobs or web posting or job posting, that kind of stuff. And you'll come up across a bunch of them. The downside with these types of boards is that you're going to have to compete with a lot of different web designers and programmers, and you may have some trouble because you'll be competing with people who may be, for instance, you might be somebody in the U.S. and you have to compete against somebody who's in India, and because the cost of living in India is so much cheaper, they're able to provide a similar service for a lot less money. But on the positive side, you're going to find that a lot of small and even medium-sized businesses will prefer to do business with a local web designer or web programmer. So they're, they'll be willing to pay the extra money to uh, be able to uh, have that proximity. So it's it, it could be something to look at when you're first trying out uh, my number five of this top five list is to try the jobs boards. Another option is to also check out Craigslist and maybe post something on your Facebook page, especially if you have friends, you'd be surprised how that uh, can help out. So that brings me to number four, ask friends or family. You'd be surprised if you uh, just let people know that you're jumping into the web design or web programming business, that you're willing to offer your services and for the first client or the first contract, if you will, it might be a good idea. It actually is a good idea to offer it for free just because you're learning and you have to develop your portfolio, develop a bit of a track record. So there's nothing wrong with the first one or two small contracts to offer for free or at least part of it for free so that you can develop your chops and, uh, you know, slowly have people get to know you. So, yeah, that's the next one. Ask friends or family. Again, uh, Facebook is, uh, if, I assume that you, if you have an account on Facebook, it's probably a good way just to mention it and people will start thinking about you in that regard, meaning they'll start thinking about you as being a web designer or a web programmer. Tip number three in getting new clients is you have to have a good website, of course. If especially if you're a web designer, you have to showcase your skills. And so, you know, you should have a website up and running that looks good. If you're a web programmer, same type of thing. Even if you're a web programmer, the look may not be as important since they won't be judging you on your design skills so much. But nonetheless, you should still have a pretty good looking professional site so that shows that you, you know what you're doing. Uh, people who would be looking to hire you as a web programmer, they have no way of really, most of the time, of judging how good your code is. So how they're going to judge you? They're going to judge you by how clean looking your website is. So it doesn't have to be super fancy, but it has to look pro. And they will assume that if your site looks good, they'll assume that your code is good. Now, I know it doesn't make any sense and it probably has nothing to do with the other because, you know, me most of the very good coders I know are actually terrible designers. So if you're one of those types of guys who really, uh, you're really good at coding, at programming, uh, then get somebody you know who's a good designer or use a basic template and, you know, leverage other people's design skills. Because, uh, you know, again, you can be a great coder, but if you have a lousy site, people are going to shy away from you because they're going to get an impression of you based on the quality or the lack of quality in your website. Actually, I remember way back in the day when I was first starting out and one of my first important contracts, wasn't wasn't my first contract, but one of my first important contracts, 
I was told after I got it, one of the main reasons I got it is because, uh, first of all, my site looked clean and neat. And also when they came over to my place, I was just operating from my apartment. They found that my apartment was very clean and neat. <laughs> and so they assumed that I would work in that way as well. So that, that uh, you know, again, they have no way of judging you as a programmer. They can't, you know, if you're a web designer, they're going to really lean heavy on your design, meaning they're going to really pay attention to the design. But if you're a programmer, you know, they're just going to really just look at, uh, you know, they're going to ask you, what have you done? They're going to look at your site and they're going to get an impression in that way. Number two on my top five list of how to get new clients. This may seem like a, a strange one, but a good idea would become an active member of a web design form. And I say this because I have um, been told by many people who are members of the KillerSites.com forums that they've gotten a lot of work by being uh, consistent contributors. You know, there may be on any given form like ours, you may see 10 regular posters, but there are probably there are hundreds of people visiting and lurking who haven't even joined. They may just check out the forum every day or every other day, just checking out things, and uh, they may never even join. So it's, it's, it's interesting that way. So it's, it's an interesting dynamic. So several uh, regular members, contributors, they've told me they've gotten gigs, several gigs through the forums. So it makes, a, makes, uh, makes sense for you to join a forum, become an active member of the community, answer questions, ask questions, contribute, and people will get to know you. And for instance, if uh, you're a great designer, uh, a, f uh, a member of the forum happens to be a coder or programmer, they may uh, contact you and, and want to get you to do some design work for them and vice versa. You may be a good coder answering PHP and JavaScript questions, for instance, and you may find in time that a designer on the forum will contact you say, listen, I got this gig, I'm doing some design work, but I don't know. PHP too well, so I saw that you've answered these questions, so I thought I, I would ask you to uh, help me out there. So that's the uh, another way to get your uh, your some new clients, become an active member of a forum, a web design forum, web programming forum. And number one, to get new clients, again, I'm assuming you're starting out, and I touched off on this previously, it makes sense in the beginning to do a freebie uh, a site and then from there, you can leverage that. So what does that mean? So what a friend or family member or somebody you know needs a website, you build it. And first of all, you're going to develop some chops in terms of how to handle clients and expectations and so forth. But more importantly, you can be sure about if you have one small business owner, uh, you may do, I don't know, somebody who has an esthetician, you can be sure that they're going to know other small business owners and eventually the word of mouth factor becomes extremely important. In fact, it will become quickly enough the most important way to get new clients. I can guarantee you from my experience and other people's experiences, it's all about, it's all about referrals. It's all about word of mouth. So it's uh, that first client or two are the most difficult and they're also the most important in a sense because they establish you as a player in the industry, as a web professional, whether you be a web designer or a web programmer. So uh, there you go. There are my top five tips to review. Try Jobs Board, Craigslist. Uh, ask friends or family. You can leverage Facebook there, for instance. Have a good website. Make sure you have a good website so that you can showcase your skills. Become an active member on a web design forum and uh, do a freebie or two just to establish yourself a little bit and you can start that word of mouth thing going it's uh it's very effective there you go i'm steph mischuk and with killersites.com thanks for listening